There's a now old saying, I think first attributed to Bill Parcells, losing feels worse than winning feels good. <laughs> you won the Super Bowl big over Denver. You lost it by the narrowest of margins under controversial circumstances a year later. Does that even the scales? Or does losing feel worse than winning felt good? Well, you know, when you have a winner's mentality, anytime you lose, it never feels good. And I probably would agree with that statement. All this feels a little bit worse, but I think the key to having that winner's mentality is to be able to move on. You guys as a team went to Hawaii in the spring. It's always great to hang out with your buddies and with your teammates, but was there a larger purpose to that trip? We're always working with a purpose, but obviously going throughout uh, the Super Bowl and that loss and then that kind of that feeling, not seeing each other for a couple months there, we had a lot of you know, get-together time, you know, a lot of time to just talk, talk football, talk life, talk about growing as men just in general. Was there one moment that happened in Hawaii, kind of a light bulb moment where you said, this is what we came here for? Having that final talk, you know, uh, on, on that Friday, that last day that we were there, kind of up on our cliff, just privately, just away, and just, just being able to talk, each person talk, and it was just a special moment. A team does really well. Guys get paid. That sometimes means that tough decisions have to be made about contracts. Now, you guys are without Cam Chancellor. How much is that hurting on the field, and how much is it hurting the team's sense of itself? Well, anytime you don't have a guy like Cam Chancellor, right, arguably the best strong safety in the, in the National Football League, you miss him, you know, and then also the fact that you know, he's a great team leader. And I think that ultimately we still have to pull everybody together and, and play great football. You know, there's no excuse. Last three times the teams have played, games have all been in Seattle. Now you come to Lambeau, and you know these fans are going to be amped. Well, of course, you know, it's Lambeau Field. I, I'm used to being in Wisconsin. You know, playing at, at University of Wisconsin, so I know these fans are going to be going crazy. But you look forward to it. You know, it feels still the same. Still 100 yards. You know, still 53 and a third. So you play the game no differently. So we just have to, you know, be on top of our game and play our best football. But what are you expecting on Russell Wilson? Well, well, Russell in that interview was saying everything's cool. We got it all together. But I know he's got to be concerned about that offensive line pass protecting against. Uh, Julius Peppers and Clay Matthews. Tonight. What you have to do is you have to feed.